Ahsoka Season 1, Episode Number 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of Ahsoka one off of the season finale very unfortunate because this season has gone very quickly man eight episodes isn't that long you know only two months over the core eh, i guess seven weeks because the first two episodes came out as a pair but still not that long of a time regardless man last week thrawn and ezra have returned man ezra i think he looks fucking great thrawn i think he looks good I guess it's more so because I'm remembering him not only one in the Rebels animation, but also, you know, younger because a lot of time has passed since him and Ezra have disappeared. So it makes sense. He looks different. He's older and stuff like that. Regardless, I am happy that it is his voice because his voice is very distinct. And I would much rather have him look a little bit off, but be his voice as opposed to the opposite, you know? So I'm very happy with what they, you, you know, how Thrawn and Ezra both sound and with how they look and everything they've done with that, man. However, we are still on this planet. Ahsoka is coming. They are ready for her. Thrawn and his crew is trying to leave. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope we have a showdown. At the end of last episode, Thrawn asked to get all the information on Ahsoka, basically, including her former master. We know Thrawn knows Anakin, but I don't think he knows that Ahsoka is Anakin's Padawan. So I hope we get to see his reaction. I hope it's not something that happens off screen because... I feel like with something like that, it's a pretty big reveal for him, especially knowing how much he knows Vader slash Anakin, however you want to put it, man. So I want to see his reaction to that. Regardless, guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are on the new channel, do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. The Senate Oversight Committee is going to determine if your command should be permanently suspended. Oh, are we going to get into this more? Because last episode we didn't even have any Hera. Which, you know, rightfully so. We got to give spotlight to our boy Thrawn and Ezra. Regardless, man, seeing Thrawn again, dude. I I, I think at first, last week, I, I was a little bit hard on it. Because seeing him again, man, I'm happy with it. I am. This shit is, this shit is good. I'm going to be sad when it's over because then... No more Star Wars content. I have visions to watch still, but other than that, I'm, for the first time since I started my Star Wars journey like three years ago, I will have been caught up just like you guys. There is resistance, but... Coruscant! We cannot allow a general of the New Republic security forces to go around acting like this is still a rebellion. Oh my god. This is a government. I hate this dude. And that is exactly what I was doing. In the best way I know how. I see, and you protected the New Republic by ignoring direct orders. Why is this the only guy talking? Jedi. False Jedi. Star maps, star whales, distant galaxies. Honestly, are we to believe any of it? There was multiple witnesses. Coordinated effort by the Imperial Remnant. Objection! Imperial Remnant. Such a sensational term. This motherfucker is corrupt. Gideon was a warlord acting on his own. There's no proof of a greater conspiracy and thus no immediate threat this to this This is 100% Republic. corrupt. If Thrawn returns, that will change quickly. <laughs> if. This motherfucker's corrupt or he's naive and ignorant. Well, I'm not gonna say some shit. Pardon the intrusion, but, but uh, identification, I do not need to show- 3PO! I am C-3PO. Welcome. What you doing here, boy? But why are you here? Quick shake up. Honored Chancellor, with respect, I am here on behalf of Senator Leia Organa. Ooh, Leia! May I speak? Second time they mention her. This data transcript, which she hopes may resolve the matter. Bro, can, where, where are the motherfuckers? I that, object. To what? The strongest terms. He, he's 100% he's corrupt. He's corrupt, 100%. Bro, where are the people that witnessed all those space whales and shit? Organa personally sanctioned General Singula's reconnaissance mission to Cetos. Oh. Yeah. Regrettably unaware that Senator Ziono had held a vote against such a mission. She's covering. Well, that seems to settle the matter. Unless you remain unsatisfied, Senator Ziono. I reach through the screen, slap the shit out of you. He's 100% corrupt. If he's not corrupt, bro, he gotta be the stupidest, most ignorant dude I've ever seen. How real is the threat of Thrawn's return? Very. I literally witnessed it. 
We have to prepare for the worst. He literally talked about the report, so they know about the space whales, right? The Pergil. I wonder if the hyperspace ring was mentioned in that because obviously Carson saw it. You know, we know Hera saw it. Dreams and madness. Like, dude, that senator is 100% corrupt. I know I keep saying it, but like, I'm livid. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> These recordings of Anakin. In this war, you will face more than just droids. Mm. General Grievous, Asajj Ventress, even Count Dooku. So good to see him again. I'm glad he's back. Not just for that one episode. I won't always be there and look out for you. If we get separated or something happens, you need to be able to make it on your own. Don't be afraid. Just remember what I taught you and trust your instincts. Mm. Sure enough, she did. I wonder if this is the first time she's listened to this. Or if she does this regularly, you know, what I mean, she kind of had her closure moment the other episode. So I wonder if she listened to that prior because we know she knows he turned into Vader. He was a good master. He was just corrupted, man, by the dark side, manipulated. She looks so different in her white attire, man. I love it. I think the odds are pretty good. No, no, in fact, they're terrible, astronomically terrible. Well, you should have said something. I did, but you never... She's fucking with him. I love it. She loves to fuck with him, man. I, I love seeing their relationship. You know, it's it, I, like I like seeing her happy, having that interaction. Damn. It's so weird seeing, you know, the animation for something coming out of hyperspace and it not being a ship. I'm picking up a lot of interference. Something's wrong. The bones from all the other hot, uh, Pergil. Whoa. Oh, they're being attacked. That's right. They're being attacked by Thrawn. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this. Dude, now this should be watched on a movie screen. Wow. Oh my God. He set up mines and shit out here too because these weren't here before. Oh shit. Say something. Are they jumping? Optimistic. Damn, they jumped to hyperspace. I wonder if they're going back to the other galaxy now, right? To where they just came from, or if they're going to a whole nother galaxy. They can literally travel anywhere, essentially, right? Look at all the fucking Pergil skeletons down there, dude. That's so insane. I'm going to make for the debris field. I would not recommend that. Come on, where's that optimism? I mean, it's either have an open fight out here or test your pilot skills against theirs, and I'm taking Ahsoka any day. Yep. Jesus, dude, seeing it in his ship. Here's everything the Inquisitorial oh, Database shit. had on her. Here we go. The master was General Anakin Skywalker. Yes. He, dude, you don't see... Your Saturn has only the one starship. Great, Grand Admiral. Our fighters have already engaged the target and pursued them into the debris field. Excellent. That'll be all, Captain. Jedi are very good at hiding. They've been practicing that for years. Mm. However, we are getting to know our adversary. And if she's anything like her master, she'll be unpredictable and quite dangerous thrawn is so fucking smart man like that's part of the reason i love his character so much even though he's a bad guy he's so smart but you don't see thrawn surprised or like thrown off too often but you could tell the second he looked at that tablet he was like oh shit you know what i mean i love it just the subtleness i mean he said they move a lot so it makes sense they're little i'm assuming these are their homes double is transportation Empire was defeated. Battle of Endor. The Emperor died. That's mm. what people say. There's a new Republic. Zeb's training recruits and Harris commanding fleet. A lot has changed. How did you? What? Find me. You never said. It's complicated. The usual level or worse? Worse. Well, we could talk about something else, I guess. 
But you know, getting home is kind of important. You need to tell him, Sabine. Ahsoka took me on as her apprentice. She what? Why? Eh! I mean, congratulations. True! So where is Ahsoka? Is she coming? That's complicated. You're gonna piss me off, man. Fucking tell him. He needs to know because shit is about to go down, Sabine. I guess Sabine doesn't really know shit's about to go down either, but she's got to know they're on a time crunch to leave if they want to leave. And you notice how when he said, so the emperor died, she said, that's what people say because somehow Palpatine returned. We don't need a scan. There's another way. Do you Connect. think your bond is that strong? Connect through the force. But the nice sisters are trying to locate her right now too, so I wonder if this is gonna fuck with it. She's like, oh shit, you're here, you're alive. Oh so fuck. Hey, you right? She connected, but was it enough? The Jedi is there. You have the coordinates. Open fire. They found us! Don't Bro, worry. Ahsoka, I, I mean, Wonderful. not Ahsoka, so, Sabine, Sabine and Ezra, oh, okay, it's shooting from up here, never mind, I thought they were shooting from down on the planet, I was gonna say, if they're shooting from down on the planet, Ezra and Sabine, they couldn't have traveled too far, they should be able to know, they're shooting at something, you know what I mean, he's flushing her out, well done, we have flushed out of hiding, shall we prepare our defenses, no, we're not the focus of the Jedi's attention. Tana will pursue Sabine Wren. He's so fucking smart. I hate it, but I love it. I hate when villains are dumb. He is so smart, man. Thrawn, and this is why it's such a, like, you sit here and ask, why is it such a big deal? One person coming back for the Empire. Now you see why. Yep. Friends of yours? I wonder if Ezra's kept up with his training at all. Your ambition drives you in one direction. My path lies in another. Mm. She's like, you're going to send me to fight too? I mean, Sabine's not a Jedi, but... And Ezra been out here, but still. She's 100% going to turn. Damn, I forgot they teamed up with them. They're going to send them in to weaken them, right? I don't think Ezra's little... Little town folks can help at all. They're straight defense, man. You know what I mean? But I think I, I think Shin turns. I think she turns. I'm sure they've been attacked before at some point. Maybe not by probably by these guys, actually, to be honest. Okay, they got some defenses. Uh -oh. <laughs> They're peaceful people. I mean, yeah, you can't just use these pods as battering rams. <laughs> so get off my shit. Ezra's like, damn, I've been out here for so long, and the second you come here, not even hours, I'm attacked. Oh no. Aw, uh, yeah, they're not after them, though. Oh, it's time to stand and fight. Ahsoka's coming too, though, man. Oh shit, I'm so hyped. Just like you, but lacks your sense of humor. Lightsaber? Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> she is so pale. Dude, it's been so long, man, to see those two standing side by side, ready to fight. We cannot land while under attack. Standard Jedi mission protocol state. Won't need to land. Oh, not this again. She's dropping not out. I'm fucking gonna hit that Black Panther shit. She, they, they did this before, right, on episode one, but when she loaded up, it was like the reverse of it, kind of. She's here. Balon? Yep. I don't have time for this. She's fighting with two this Bad time. No. Oh, man. We ain't going single blade. <laughs> he attacks first this time, man. I don't need it. Besides, you've been training. It's very funny. No, I'm serious. Take it. I gave it to you. It's yours now. Yeah. Please take a blaster. No. The force is my ally. Oh, That's shit. That's all I need. 
Damn. Well, I'm gonna need more than that. He's been training. Yep. You figure he's probably been using the force a lot because that's all he really has to use out here. He doesn't need to rely on like lightsabers and shit anymore as much. Yep. You see that, bro? It's such a different fighting style, like little bits of the force. Dude, is she gonna kill Balon? She has taken out a lot of people. Damn! Strong ass force push. Dude, you see he's he's practiced hand to hand, but his Oh shit. He's practiced his hand to hand, but man. Little touches with the force. Ooh. Okay, there you go, Sabine! Oh, ho, ho! shit. These cuts back and forth. Don't defeat me. Perhaps. Her ship. I don't have to. Damn. Dude, that landed kind of like the way he rolled. One of those shots looked like it landed right on him, huh? I don't think he died from that, though. Mm. She Batmaned him. What's he thinking? I got a weird respect for him, similar to Dooku. Dude, I wonder if he's interacted with Thrawn at all, too. Like, has he seen Stormtroopers while he's been here? Yeah! Mandalorian shit, look at these two together, man! I love seeing it! Or we could just... We, don't you want to take us as prisoners? As prisoners? Huh? Or, Fire! Or... Ahsoka? Yeah! Damn! Yeah, bro, you fighting the master now, not the apprentice. Good luck and Godspeed to you. Oh my god! That was dope, seeing her use her wrist guards so much to block like saber shots and blaster shots. Dude, Ezra has really mastered the force, huh? Yeah! Woo! With our enemy distracted, the cargo transfer is now almost complete. Which means we shall soon leave this forsaken place. Ahsoka Tano has lost the one thing she could not afford to lose today. The Pergil? Uh... So I love Thrawn, dude. Even in defeat, he sees victory, man. She's like, what the fuck? They're abandoning me. I think this is when she joins them, man. She's got to. Unless she just dies, right? I can help you. Even though she left, I think that... That moment's important for later. I miss this reunion. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can you please tell me what is actually happening now? I think I might be going home after all. <laughs> Let's bring it down a notch, Ezra, because you still don't know what's going on. Dude, you. F <laughs> First of all, <laughs> clap it the fuck up for that episode, man. These. Dude, this show, it started out as like, okay, episodes one through three, was it? I was like, okay, this isn't bad. You know, it's not. It's not amazing. You know, it's not some of the best Star Wars content I've ever seen. It's just good. And then episodes four, five, six, and now seven. Holy shit, four episodes in a row of just amazing content. Just like fantastic, like. <laughs> and it's funny because in the, well, first of all, Ahsoka season one, episode seven is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. In the comments from episode one, all, like for all the way from episode one, I see people saying it's okay, but they're going to drop the ball with it. I'm not even going to bother watching it. It's going to end up being bad. It's it's a terrible shit, this and that. It's like, motherfucker. If you thought the first episodes were at least decent or good, 
Episodes four, five, six, and seven blew it out of the water, man. This episode was so good seeing Ezra use the force like that. Like he's, I mean, he, you figure he has no blasters. He has no lightsaber or anything. Like all he has is the force essentially. And obviously is fighting, you know, hand to hand combat, which he's, he's improved on and just seeing him use the force more like the small force pushes and stuff with like not even using a full force push, but like small force pushes when he was fighting and stuff, you could hear the sound. It's just so cool to see him use the force in this way and see it used in a different way than just massive force pushes or force pulls or this or that. Kind of like with Yoda, how he uses the force to make himself be nimble and be able to fight better and stuff. And the blind guy and what was it, Rogue One who used the force and stuff like it's just a different and more unique way than what we're used to seeing. And I love that, dude. I, I truly, truly do. But <sighs> you figure Ezra has been here for what, a decade, 10 years? I wonder if he's been attacked by the stormtroopers, right? And if he has, when was the last time he was? But you figure he's probably been living peacefully for a while. Cause I, I mean, he said he, they have to move constantly. So maybe not. And maybe he just kind of figures it's whatever, but you, you got to figure he's probably thinking like, huh, that was fucking weird guys. Huh? We were just attacked by a bunch of stormtroopers. Uh, what he's probably assuming is an inquisitor or just a sith based off his experiences prior to coming here he's probably thinking geez that was fucking weird huh like what's going on like sabina's told him nothing still essentially i know she's told him a lot don't get me wrong in comparison to where the world was when he left but she has told him nothing about what's important currently to get him home and it's like i get where she's coming from she does she's scared of what he's gonna say and she doesn't want to ruin the moment but Sabine, you're pissing me off, man. Like, fuck, you know, but it's just a fantastic episode. The fight scenes, they, they're fantastic. The stuff with Shin, again, I kept saying I think she's going to turn. She didn't turn in this moment, but I think that was important. Ahsoka basically said, you know, hey, I can help you out if you want me to help you. I'm not going to force it on you. We're not going to kill you. We're not going to chase you down. If you want help, I can help you. And she chose to leave. But I think she is going to either ulti ultimately, I think she is going to because either A, She's going to go back to Thrawn. Thrawn's going to shit on her for failing. Or B, she's going to go back to Balon. Balon's going to shit on her for failing. Or C, Balon's just not even going to come back for her type deal, right? Something along those lines. Because I don't know where he ended up walking to. Maybe he was walking off like, all right, my shit's done. I'm going to my own thing. These guys are leaving. I'm going to, you know, build my kind of empire, so to speak, like I, like I wanted to. The, the, the new beginnings, right? So, I don't know, man. I don't know what he could be doing. But Thrawn, I love that they did show his reaction. And you could tell, like, it's not an overreaction. Thrawn is a very cool, calm, collected person. And you could tell the second he looked at the tablet, there was a little bit of, like, oh, shit on his face for a second, man. And just the subtlety, that's all you need, man, for somebody like that. He's not going to overreact or anything. But the subtlety was a nice little touch, man. And I love that. Fantastic stuff, though. Another, like I said, amazing episode. We got the finale next week. I'm sad about. I'm excited to see it. But I'm sad about, man. Um... Because again, no more Star Wars content after this until the next show comes out. I probably will end up doing Visions, but regardless, guys, fantastic episode. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Full reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing if you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.